Good evening and welcome to this week's broadcast of Him of Our Fathers. On Him of Our Fathers, we clean at this, we take a look at the life of Him writers, stories, situations, and events that surround their life and some of our popular hymns, and then draw lessons and inspirations for our life from it. This evening, by the grace of God, we'll be taking a look at the song, Take the Name of Jesus with You. Take the Name of Jesus with You was written by Lydia Baxter, who lived between 1809 and 1874. The tone name is Precious Name, 8787 uh, with refrain. So join me tonight as we take a look at the life of Lydia Baxter, who gave us the song, Take the Name of Jesus with You. Lydia Baxter was born in a small town, town of Petersburg in New York. She grew up with a sister, and well, while they were young, a Baptist missionary came to preach in their town, and both of them were touched by the words of this preacher and eventually gave their life and heart to Jesus Christ. This Baptist preacher stayed a little at Petersburg, but after some time, he departed to preach in some other towns too. So, there was no Baptist church in Petersburg at that time. Lydia and her sister decided to invite some of their friends to join them in worship in their house, and that act led to what we have as Fort Baptist Church Petersburg, even till today. After the church was organized, Lydia got married and relocated to live with her husband in New York, where they also joined a Baptist church and were serving faithfully in that place. Since she became a Christian, she has been studying Bible diligently and she learned the meaning of names mentioned in the Bible and she will use this information in teaching Sunday school classes and even in conversation or as comments while they were discussing with people. People are always excited to hear their name mentioned or the meaning of their name from the mouth of Lydia and people will always want to listen to her or have conversation with her. Not very long after she got married, she became ill, she became very sick and became paralyzed from this sickness. She remained on the bed for most time of her life and it was when she could no longer participate regularly in church services, uh, outdoor evangelism, that she turned to be a gospel hymn writer and she wrote several other hymns to serve the cause of Christ. Preachers, evangelists, and Christian demons with whom she has served with regularly will gather in their house and she continued to have the joy of Christian fellowship even at her house. Her friends were kind to say that they were inspired by her cheerfulness. It's part of her illness because she will always tell them that she has a special anchor. And by special anchor, she, will, she is referring to the fact that she has the name of Jesus to always, always refer to. When the tempter tries to make her despondent, she will always mention the name of Jesus. It was in this state of sickness, it was in this state that she gave us the song, Take the Name of Jesus with You, because that name has worked for her. And she's open, hoping that that song too will be able to help other people who are in serious need of something to hold on to, even in time of trouble. She died in 1874, and that's at the age of 64. Scripture talks about the name of Jesus in Philippians 2, from verse 5, that God has highly exalted him, and has given him a name that is above every other name. There are dimension of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, of things in heaven, of things in earth, and of things under the heart, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Whatever state you may find yourself today to, why not take the name of Jesus that works with you? Because this name will give you comfort, this name will give you peace, this name will give you love, this name will give you joy, this name will shield you even in time of trouble, this name of Jesus is our hope in this earth and even will be our joy when we get to him. Take the name of Jesus with you wherever you go. This name is the only one that can save. This name is the way. This name is the truth. And this name 
his name. Even if you are so pressed down that you cannot say anything again, try and mention the name of Jesus. Because at the mention of his name, sickness will bow, disease will bow, affliction will bow, and everything you may need is actually in the name of Jesus. Join me as we take this song with our heart tonight. Take the name of Jesus with you. It will joy and comfort give you. Take it wherever you go. Precious name, oh how sweet, hope of heart and joy. Thanks to those who have subscribed to our YouTube channel and thanks to those who are sharing this broadcast too. Uh, please do where to like, share, follow and subscribe to our platforms at Kingdom Purpose Ministry and as you do so, God will continue to bless you. Thanks for watching. God bless you.